NASA has just announced that a huge asteroid will come within just 100,000 miles of Earth, which is twice as close as the Moon. The object is estimated to be over 300 feet in length. The United States Space Agency's Asteroid Watch Team said the following. Astronomers with the International Asteroid Warning Network are using this approach to learn as much as possible about this asteroid in a short time period. It's good practice for planetary defense in the future if a potential asteroid threat were ever discovered. End quote. NASA has a program in place called the Near-Earth Object Observations Program, which is designed to detect, track, and characterize asteroids and comets that come within a certain distance of Earth. The program includes a network of ground-based telescopes and also employs spacecraft to observe and study near-Earth objects. One of the key goals of the Near-Earth Object Observations Program is to identify any objects that may pose a threat of impact to Earth. If an object is detected that has the potential to collide with Earth, NASA will first work to refine the object's orbit to better understand its trajectory and predict where it might impact. NASA will then evaluate potential mitigation strategies, such as deflecting the object off its trajectory or disrupting it using a kinetic impactor. NASA also collaborates with other national and international organizations to detect and track near-Earth objects. For example, the agency works with the European Space Agency to operate the Space Situational Awareness Program, which includes the segment dedicated to monitoring these objects. Overall, NASA's efforts to detect and study near-Earth objects help to protect Earth by providing an advanced warning of potential impacts and informing strategies for mitigating the risk of collision. However, every year, NASA misses various asteroids of all sizes, with one of the most recent ones being in November 2021, when a large asteroid barely missed Earth, with the planetary defense team saying that no one knew it was coming. Although a 300-foot asteroid doesn't sound like much, its impact could be devastating. The effects of a 300-foot asteroid impacting Earth would depend on several factors, such as the composition and speed of the asteroid, as well as the location of impact. However, generally speaking, such an impact could cause significant damage and potentially loss of life. If the asteroid were composed of a relatively dense material like iron, it could have a high kinetic energy upon impact, resulting in an explosion-like effect. This could cause a large crater to form and eject material into the atmosphere, potentially causing wildfires and other forms of damage. If the impact occurred over an ocean, it could cause a tsunami, which could devastate coastal areas. In addition to the immediate effects, an impact of this size could also have longer-term consequences. The material ejected into the atmosphere could block sunlight and cause a cooling effect, potentially leading to crop failures and other disruptions to ecosystems. Furthermore, the impact could release large amounts of dust and debris into the atmosphere, which could remain there for years and affect global climate patterns. Astronomers describe a rare black widow star system. A new study describes a unique astronomical object called the Black Widow Pulsar. The star system named J0610-2100 is about 10,000 light-years from Earth. It was discovered in 2003 after scientists noticed periodic pulsing in the area. Scientists decided the system was a pulsar. A pulsar is a collapsed, highly magnetized star that rotates very quickly. They shoot out electromagnetic blasts out of their poles. So, if their pole is facing the Earth, we can see the light in space, but it quickly goes away as the star spins. For example, J0610-2100 flickers every 3.8 milliseconds as it turns around. The object was named after the Black Widow spider that famously eats other spiders of a smaller size. The Black Widow pulsar is made up of two stars, one larger and one smaller. The larger of the two is slowly devouring the smaller star by pulling most of the surrounding matter into space. In addition to removing any matter from its vicinity, the larger star hits the smaller star with consistent energy discharges. On J0610-2100, these pulses have been happening over the last hundred or even thousands of years. These hits of energy push much of the remaining star matter into space. Since the star could devour its smaller counterpart at some point, scientists want to study this system before it goes away. Emma van der Wateren, 
a doctorate student at the Netherlands Institute for Radio Astronomy, studied the Black Widow pulsar for years and analyzed 16 years of data from a radio telescope to discover more about the pulsar. She and her team found some unique and interesting things about this specific star system. First, this system has never shown any changes in timing. It was consistent and steady throughout the past 16 years. Typically, Black Widow pulsars are irregular and temperamental, which is why this finding is so important to astronomers. Second, the star system does not have a radio eclipse, which is found in most other Black Widow pulsars. A radio eclipse happens when radio emissions stop during a specific part of the star's orbit path around each other. Van der Wateren explains, This occurs when the companion star moves close to the front of the pulsar, and all this irradiated material coming off of the companion eclipses the pulse emission from the pulsar. While the radio eclipse is still stumping scientists, the steady timing has a clear and helpful purpose. Van der Wateren says, To detect gravitational waves, you need many, many very stable pulsars. And unlike earlier Black Widow pulsars that have been discovered, this system is very stable. Scientists believe that if they analyze the consistent energy pulses of the larger star, they might be able to detect gravitational waves, which are uncommon ripples in the fabric of space-time. Gravitational waves, theorized by Albert Einstein, appear when massive universal objects collide. The waves from the collision move through space and time at light speed and warp the fabric of the universe as they ripple past. Pluto has giant ice volcanoes that could hint at the possibility of life. As it turns out, secrets have been hiding on the dwarf planet Pluto's surface all this time. According to astronomers, giant ice volcanoes have recently erupted with icy sludge. This area on Pluto is completely unique compared to what astronomers have seen in our solar system. This new discovery was made possible with NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, which captured photos of Pluto's moons and surface in 2015. These images were used to observe Pluto more closely than before and led to the discovery of two prominent peaks that were thought to be icy volcanoes. This speculation was further proved by clues of erupted ice lava found in the images. While we tend to associate volcano eruptions with hot lava, ice volcanoes or cryovolcanoes erupt with water ice mixed with other substances such as methane or ammonia. For years, astronomers have been searching for evidence of these cryovolcanoes on other solar objects like the dwarf planet Ceres and Saturn's moon Titan. As Pluto has been long suspected of having cryovolcanoes due to it resting on the frigid edge of the solar system's Kuiper belt, these photos provide more evidence for their existence on the dwarf planet. The eruptions of slush are also expected to keep their shape due to the average temperature of Pluto sitting at minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the author of the study, Kelsey Singer, the icy material was probably more like the texture of toothpaste when it first erupted out of the ice volcanoes, but due to the extreme temperatures on Pluto, the liquid water quickly formed massive domes found on the region. Due to the lack of impact craters in the area around the cryovolcanoes that are usually seen on Pluto's surface, it is suggested that the ice volcanoes were active about 100 to 200 million years ago, a relatively short time in the grand scheme of things. This recent activity indicates to astronomers that the volcanoes may erupt again just as volcanoes on Earth switched from dormancy to activity. Astronomers know that Pluto once had a subsurface ocean, and the discovery of these ice volcanoes points to the possibility that they may still be present. This possibility of a liquid ocean existing on Pluto increases the once 0% possibility of existing life on Pluto to a slim chance. As Singer points out, there are still a lot of challenges for any organisms trying to survive there. They would still need some source of continual nutrients, and if the volcanism is episodic and thus the heat and water availability is variable, that is sometimes tough for organisms as well. Despite the challenges, this slim chance has been a giant leap in the knowledge of what we previously believed about Pluto. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? 
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.